What's up, y'all? This your girl, Gold Mouth, coming at y'all with a breakfast mukbang. Um, today, y'all, I have a breakfast, I think it's called uh, avocado toast. I don't know, child. I found it on Instagram. Um, I was looking around for some healthy breakfast ideas because I really don't know, like, too many breakfast ideas, but I got, like, a few that I can, you know, off the top of my head. So, I was, I Googled it, and I was on the internet, and I'm like, okay, give me some breakfast idea, Google. Come on, Google. Let me see what you got. So, what Google... What I ended up getting was um, avocado toast. So I guess it's avocado toast. Or it might be egg toast, child. One or the other. So either way, child. I looked it up on Instagram and I seen these pictures of avocado toast. So this avocado toast is um, has what it is a uh, whole grain honey oat bread. That's what that's what kind of bread this is. I got this bread from Walmart. It was only a dollar and thirty eight cent for a. Uh, you know for the bread so uh i got that bread and i got an avocado and i also got sweet cherry tomatoes i got two of those and i cut them up i sliced up some avocados and i put them on there with some salt and pepper and garlic and i put a little bit of mayo on the bread you know just to give it a little bit of flavor i didn't put no butter i just used mayo and i got a big old apple right here i forgot this thing said power crisp apple from walmart child i don't know what it what kind of apple it is because i was trying to figure out if it was gala or uh, you know them Fiji is it Fiji I don't know whatever kind of apples Fuji and but it didn't say neither one it said power crisp so if that's the name of an apple then that's the kind of apple I got girl okay so I got a smoothie here my smoothie is out of that um the Walmart section the Walmart section the frozen food section you know where the frozen fruit at I got a big bag of tropical fruit and um this fruit is I think it's I don't know if it's tropical or regular fruit listen it's strawberries um mangoes pears pineapples look something and then i added blueberry and spinach is in there okay so i am ready to eat my food y'all before it get cold because i had this fan on and stuff child i'm hot child anyways let me say my grace so i can eat my food okay god is great god is good lord i thank you for my food <laughs> by my head you're my best friend thank you lord my daily bread amen um God, I thank you for this food that I'm about to receive, and I hope you made it pure and clean and nourishing for my body. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. And God bless all my subscribers in Jesus' name. Okay, amen. All right, y'all. So, I am ready to dig in. I don't know what this tastes like. This is my very first time having avocado toast on egg, whatever, chat. I ain't never had it before, so we're going to see together. I'm going to let y'all know how it is. Even if it ain't all of that, I'm going to still, uh, you know, try to eat it because it's good for you. Oh, I dropped a tomato. Uh, I got to get my tomato, y'all. I got to get my tomato. How about to eat this thing? It's kind of big now. Hmm. Okay. It's actually not that bad. I thought it was going to be nasty, y'all. Let me get my toast. I'm gonna get my, I need some short straws, him. I need a short straw. Mmm. This is so good, y'all. I'm going to get this. I'm going to cut this straw. I'm about to cut this straw. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. Let me cut my straw. Okay, y'all. So, my straw cut to my size, y'all. I had to get it to my, my size. This is a real good, easy way to eat your fruit if you ain't, and your vegetables if you don't like to just like eat your fruit and vegetables. Get a smoothie, honey. Get you one of those Nutribullets and start buying some frozen fruit at the frozen fruit section at Walmart and start blending. Start blending away. Get that fruit and vegetables in there. Oh my God. This is, this is kind of good. Now, some of y'all might not like it if y'all don't like avocado because I know some people don't like avocados. But listen, you need to get your taste buds used to it because it's delicious. All you got to do is season them right. I like to put garlic and salt on mine. Garlic, salt, and black pepper on mine. It tastes pretty good. Now, if y'all know some, um, I think one time I put, um, what it was? Lemon pepper on it, too. I think, look, I might be mistaken. I might not, but, but listen, if y'all know some flavors that help enhance the flavor, if some seasonings that help enhance the flavor of avocado, y'all list them down below and let me know. I might need to try something new, but this is pretty good. Uh-huh. Mmm.
Mmm, okay. I'm impressed. I am very, very impressed with that. I wasn't thinking, girl, I was thinking it wasn't going to be all that. Mmm. This is smoothie. I already knew it was going to be good because I done drunk my smoothies like this before. And y'all, look at this little cute glass. It's so cute. It's like a champagne glass. Mmm. Let me stop drinking that smoothie because it's going to be gone in a second. I'll make that joke be gone in 60 seconds. Ooh. Mm. And you know what's crazy? I was going to make two of these, but then I seen how big the bread was. And I was thinking, oh, two going to be too many. I could have ate two, look, because I'm already halfway done with this. Y'all, I can't believe it actually tastes good. Like, for real. Like, hmm. I want me another one. Oh, my God. <laughs> Listen, y'all. Somebody commented on my video the other day and said, What in the food stamp hell is you eating? I'm like, What? A food stamp hell? Girl. First of all, lady, <laughs> I don't get food stamps. Okay. Second of all, lady, I wish I got food stamps. Okay, cause them was, the, them was the good old days when I did get them. Okay. And I know that was just like, okay, wasn't the food stamp here? I guess maybe my food look po. I don't know. Is that what you're trying to say? But hell, I wish I got food stamps. Or either way, I guess maybe the combination that I eat I ain't appeasing to everyone. But I, like I said, I'm trying to make better food decisions. Well, you know better, you do better a little bit. I mean, you don't do all the way better, but you do a little bit better. At least you try. But this is, oh my God, this is a big old apple. I wasn't sure if I was going to eat it all, but, uh-huh. Mmm. I don't know what kind of apple this is, but it's good. All I remember the little sticker on it said Power Crisp. Because I was trying to see how much it was going to cost. And this one, this is a pretty big apple. As you see, I'm putting the palm of my hand. I probably don't look that big on camera, but it's big. And when I went to the register at Rongo, you know, because they charge by the pound. I think it was like a dollar forty something a pound, but this one apple rung up by itself for uh, for one dollar and seven cent. And that wasn't too bad because I bought an apple, I bought a loaf of bread, and two avocados. That's what I bought. Listen, do anybody can anybody tell me? Um if you out there and you eat avocados, like, because I only eat half avocado at a time, how to keep the avocado from turning brown when I put it in the refrigerator? Because I put it on the foil to turn brown, I put it in a Ziploc bag to turn brown, I put it in a plastic container to turn brown. I don't heard people say different things, but which one really worked? Because I'm tired of trying them all, because I ain't really got no success with one of them, with, with none of the things that I tried. I need, like, one foolproof method of keeping my avocado from turning brown while it's in the refrigerator because I've been wanting to eat my other half y'all before it started looking like doo-doo brown mm. this is a good apple y'all y'all need to try it Go to Walmart and look for Power Crisp. They kind of look like the Fuji Fuji apples, the Gala apples. They all in the same family, I think. This one, mm, I wasn't expecting it to be like this. It got a light crispy feeling to it, not like a red apple. You know, it's got a light lightness to it. Hmm. I don't know if I say, why you got an apple when you got this? Hey, it is what it is, a motor marrier. All look good. Mm. Listen, y'all, I had heard on the radio this morning that there was this man. He sounded like he was Indian. I couldn't see him because, you know, it was on the radio or whatever. And he said he was suing his parents for having him. I was like, what? Yep. 
He said he was suing his parents for having him because he didn't ask to be here. And since since uh, they chose to have him and bring him on this earth, that is their responsibility to take care of him forever. I'm talking about forever. <laughs> oh, I what? I think it was on. I also think it was on Charlemagne's channel because they they called him a donkey of the day. Y'all, this good to me. It's guilt free. I don't feel bad because I'm eating a healthy breakfast, you know, and it make me feel good. <laughs> And I think what played a part in his goodness too is um the seasoning that I put on it. I make sure I season my egg with garlic when I scrambled it. Garlic, salt, and pepper for my egg when I scrambled it. Well, it was kind of scrambled, and then before it started being scrambled egg, I kind of put it together as a patty, and that's why it looked like you know a egg patty, just like you know I don't know how to explain it, child. I made it so I can lay it on the bread, but I don't like them sunny side up eggs where you can see the yolk and when you bite into it, all the stuff buzz out. No, it will. No, no. Okay. Make the egg all the way done and just make it into a patty before it get all the way cooked and then cook it the rest of the way. Slice avocados. I think this is the best way I ever had my avocados. We gon' y'all gonna be seeing a lot more avocado toast, different toasts. Watch. Mmm. And these cherry red tomatoes, they good, especially when they combine with the avocado. I never eaten cherry red tomatoes with avocado. But I'm gonna start. Girl, if this was a burger, <laughs> if this was a burger, this would all be good on a hamburger, for real. Even the egg. I started to cook some sausage, but I was like, eh, I don't want to eat no sausage with it. I'm going to just see how that tastes by itself. And I'm glad I did. I don't miss no sausage. I don't miss no sausage at all. Mm. That's good eating right there, y'all. I still feel like I need my straw to be a little bit shorter. I'm going to cut it again. There you go. My straw a little bit shorter. So. Mm. Perfect. Perfect. I can't even believe this that good. I was expecting to, it to be like nasty while I was on camera that I was gonna be like, oh man, now I gotta force myself to eat it. You know, even though it's nasty, but I'm not forcing myself to eat it. I'm actually trying to chill with eating because you know how you be so greedy. You only wanna eat your food so fast because you be scared you ain't gonna have no more. <laughs> like when you little. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to savor it, y'all. Oh, let me tell y'all, it's salt, black pepper, and garlic on here. That's what's all on here. And I sprinkle a little bit of parsley on the top, you know, so it can be cute, girl. <laughs> Whatever. Mm. <clears throat> this apple is real easy to bite. It is real easy to bite. I like apples like that, that when you bite it, it, it just like pulls away from the apple easy. Because the red apples, they, they they good, but they're not, this one, make, compared to the red apple, it don't bite as good. And it feels lightweight. Mm, mm, mm. It's a good breakfast. And when I do my smoothies, I don't use no ice because I use frozen fruit. 
So frozen fruit, same thing as ice. They frozen. So, and then I find when I do use ice, it takes away from the taste of my smoothie. It waters it down. So I don't, I don't use ice. Mm. That straw, this side straw is the perfect length. I wonder if they got little short straws. Well, it don't even matter. I can just go to the Dollar Tree and cut all my straws so they can fit my little glass, y'all. I think I'm bougie with my glass. <laughs> mm. Yeah, don't worry about my water intake today, y'all. It's a lot of water in fruit, so that still count. Even though I'm still going to be drinking my water today. Mm. Now, I'm trying to get my channel, this channel, to do better. I actually feel good over here. I feel less stressed on this channel. Um, I really ain't got to think, think too hard on this channel. I can just come on, eat, and talk to y'all. We can have a conversation or whatever. But... It's so much easier, you know. Mmm. Y'all, I'm so shocked. I'm so shocked that this is good. But anyways, y'all, yeah, the man wanted to divorce his parents. And I'm like, wow. I didn't know people could even do that. That's weird. I want to divorce my mama. My mama kicked my head to my divorcing her. I wouldn't win in the court of law if I tried to divorce my mama. I wouldn't make it to the court date. My mama was like, I bought you in this row, and I'll take you out. And that'll be the end of my court date. I'm no voice in your mama. That gotta be crazy. And then this man sounded like he was grown. He said it was his parents' fault for having them to struggle in this world. And I'm like, he said they had him without his consent. So when he said that, I'm like, Without his consent, how how they were gonna ask you? That's what I want to know. How would they gonna ask you? Could could they hear you? That's what I'm just trying to figure out. Man, you got to be a special kind of stupid to think of something like that. So he wanted his mama to ask his daddy to ask him. Wherever he was before, his daddy shot him out. <laughs> People crazy, man. And guess what? What if the court system so crazy and he win? What? What if he won something like that? There's always a first time for a dumb lawsuit. First time. Always a first time to win a dumb lawsuit because... Y'all remember that fat kid who, um... Who won a lawsuit? His mama won a lawsuit for um, eating at McDonald's every day. And he was overweight. And she sued McDonald's because he was fat. Yeah. It's always the first time for a dumb lawsuit to be won in court. And he the reason why McDonald's have they and restaurants that had put their calorie um, numbers on their menus now. Like you will see, like if you go to a restaurant, you got number one, number two, number three, you know, meal. They all got the calories behind them now, up on them, somewhere around there, to tell you how many calories there are. So, um, you know how many calories your fat butt finna eat before you eat it. So, if you get fat, that's on you, okay? He the reason behind all of this. I don't even, I wonder who the fat kid was. I wonder what he looked like now. Did he die, y'all? Did y'all know about that? I just wonder if he died from being overweight or if he just was fat and she sued them for being overweight. Cause I never, I never saw like the story. I might have to look that up. Let me Google that. 
Yeah, this is a crazy world we living in, y'all. My husband sent me an article this morning to my Facebook, and it said that um, um, if you ate at Panera Bread in Montgomery on one of these roads over here, if you ate at Panera Bread, you need to go get you a hepatitis shot because it was somebody in there. There was a worker in there that tested positive for having hepatitis and I think it was like hepatitis A and I'm like is it that serious? Now everybody who ate at um Panera Bread in the last 15 days need to go get a hepatitis shot like really like God Lee you just mean to tell me everybody who ate they gotta go get a hepatitis shot all because one person had hepatitis um and they fed your food they said it don't matter if you ate there or ate inside, ate outside you got a, um, what you call that thing, that driver that the Uber Eats to go get your food and bring it back. All the Uber Eats people who came in contact with the food got to, got to go get a hepatitis shot. If you did that in the last 15 days, I was like, whoa, baby. I ain't never ate Panera Bread before. I'm glad I didn't call. That made me want to not go out no more. Lord Jesus. That's crazy. That's real crazy. And then, I ain't giving somebody the hepatitis vaccine or any form of vaccine. It's kind of like giving them the disease. What if you ate a hepatitis? If you ate a hepatitis, what if you ate at Panera Bread and you got like a weak immune system? Like, would you catch hepatitis? Or you got? Would you? Would you? Um, how would you get it? How would you go back getting a hepatitis shot? Cause I don't think you need to be going getting shots when you got a low immune system and stuff, stuff like that. You know, cancer patients, any other patients that got diseases that make their immune system weak. Any, any, pretty much any patient that's sick, anybody that's sick, anybody got colds and flu already, and then you came in contact, you just wanted you something to eat, and then now all of a sudden you wake up and you see that on the news, girl. Mm -mm. I don't know, stuff, freaky stuff be happening. Maybe you don't want to go nowhere. Mm. These tomatoes set this off. I didn't know. I was scared, so I only put three. No, two tomatoes, and I cut them up in threes. So. Yeah, I'll get used to this because it's just something y'all going to be looking at in the future, okay? There's Nivea. Nivea? Nivea can't come in because she walking around with, with diaper on, so. Mm. Mm. I'm so glad it's good, y'all, because I just knew I was going to have to force myself to eat this on camera. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> I was just thinking that, Lord, please let it be good, because then I got to eat it anyway. I mean, I won't tell y'all that, that it was nasty if it was nasty, but, um, and still eat it. But it is good. The skin on this apple look like, look like paper. It's real thin. Am I supposed to eat the skin on this apple, y'all? <laughs> It done went down now. Mm. I don't know which one to bite off. Okay, y'all. I really hope I influence somebody to eat healthy today. And guess what? Eat healthy, drink a lot of water, and all that good stuff getting your fruits and vegetables in. I help you have grow too. <laughs> we do.
So like me, if you have a hard time with like making decisions, um, if you need a reason to eat better, just think of a reason instead of instead. Because I know a lot of people think, oh, it's it's hard to eat healthy. It's hard to do right when I like this and like that. It's hard for me too, girl. That's why you see me eating that fried chicken the last time and then them fried shrimp. Try sometimes you gotta do what you wanna do, you know. But then, like me, I this is how I go. It, it's easy for me to to make better decisions. Okay, I don't want to say eat healthy, cause y'all already know that's not what I do. I just make better decisions <laughs> because I had to say that because I don't want to be like feel guilty when I do feel like I want to go out there and get me some fried food. I feel like I want to eat what I want to eat when I want to eat it. So, but at times I try to make better decisions, you know, for a better me, happier me because. It's hard to be in prison if you try to eat right all the time as your lifestyle. It becomes crazy. Because it's just like you be seeing food like, oh my God, I want some of that so bad. But no, I can't eat it as bad for me. Listen, eat what you want to eat, but try to eat it in moderation. If 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 you don't want to eat it in moderation, eat it all that day. Then the next day, you know, go back to do it right. <laughs> I don't know. I ain't no health expert. I'm just doing this for me, okay? That's all. <laughs> So when you come on my channel and you see me eat fruits, fried foods, stuff that don't look like they would really match in the real world, let me be me, okay? <laughs> if you don't like the combination of foods, you know, sometimes you just got to think outside the box. You can't be like everybody else all the time. Hmm. I'm glad I looked that up. I'm real with that. I don't know if it's the bread that made it good or what, but it was good. I didn't think about that. Oh, the bread good too. That was my first time trying that bread. But I had toasted two breads, so I mean the bread was nothing spectacular, but it do got a nice soft texture to it. But the flavor it just tasted like bread, so mm-hmm. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Mm. I ate all my food. Mm, 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 mm. I ate all my food. I have I had thought I was gonna have to eat that with a um a knife and a fork, y'all. So I was already ready. I got me a knife and a fork over there because it was so big. I didn't know how to dig in. You know, I ain't know how to dig in. So. Mm. I don't know what to reach for everything so good. <laughs> mm. So yeah, I had so much fun this week. Um, well, not this week, the other day for Nibia's birthday. That was my first time going to Chuck E. Cheese. I'm glad y'all said Chuck E. Cheese because, like, when I read in the comment section, y'all the ones said Chuck E. Cheese, Chuck E. Cheese, and I'm like, oh no, because it might cost too much. It didn't cost nothing. I always spent was twenty dollars, and I think twenty dollars gave us forty games, forty points, forty points. And Nivea's little, so she got on all the little one point things, and that was a that was good because we still got after having forty points and staying there for like I believe we was there for like forty five minutes. We ended up still having thirty four points left on the card. So now we got to go to Chuck E. Cheese again just to use the cards up um, for Nivea. So I think Nivea's going to be here for like two more weeks and then she's leaving. So she's going to be here for like two more weeks and then so we're going to take her another day. I'll vlog it again just just for the sake of vlogging. And then we're going to get her a birthday cake. We didn't get her a birthday cake at that time because it was too much. If we had birthday cake, then we got baby. Then who going to eat a birthday cake? We need little cupcakes because it's just us. You know, it ain't like Nivea from here. She got, and oh, oh, I got girlfriends or whatever who got babies. I don't I don't know nobody here, Chad. If I did and they had a baby, I would have sure welcomed them to come because we had a good time. And it wasn't too crowded because it was a Monday night. Thank God, because 
I almost got trampled by two little children there, and they were small as nifty, about running me over, running, trying to play. I can't imagine if it was more than that there, because, ooh, that would have been too much. I probably wouldn't have been able to record or none of that, because when too many people around, my, my anxiety level go up, and I ain't going to be wanting to be trying to be recording like that, so. Mm. So it was a good day. Even though it was pouring down raining, y'all. Y'all didn't see outside, but it was raining outside. Pouring down. But we was we was fine. We waited till it slacked up, got out of the car, went in. As long as we was inside, we were raining on them. It was safe, that was good. Chuck of Cheese came out there. When Chuck of Cheese came out there, Nib got crunk. So she used to listen to the music. But it was a great day. Oh, thank y'all for all the birthday wishes. I appreciate y'all. Listen, if you guys are still watching this video at this point, let me see what y'all can say. Mm, say toast. T-O-A-S-T. -S toast. And let me know how y'all like this video. And if you guys have ever had avocado toast before, I guess I would call it avocado toast, but I think it was more egg than avocado. So whatever. Avocado egg toast, egg avocado toast, or whatever you want to call it. But let me know if y'all have eaten that before. And if not, try it and then let me know um, if you guys like it. So I'm going to end this video right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, and that's all I got to say in this video. And I will holler at y'all later. Bye.